The Heart Research Institute at Texas A&M Corpus Christi is currently studying a hypoxic dead zone in the southeast region of Corpus Christi Bay. However, heavy biofouling in the bay currently limits the Institute's monitoring abilities due to the labor-intensive efforts needed to keep instruments accurately logging data. After identifying their need for a long-term deployment instrument, the Heart Research Institute tested the Wet Lab's water quality monitor, known simply as the WQM. Way back in 1988, I put some instruments in the water here in Corpus Christi Bay, in fact, right outside my window. And I was very surprised because the dissolved oxygen went down almost to zero, and I thought the instrument was wrong. And it wasn't until I got back to the lab and checked them and realized they were okay that we had discovered hypoxia. And what we've been doing since 1988 is going back every summer and trying to monitor the hypoxia situation in Corpus Christi Bay. Corpus Christi Bay is, is really, in my experience, is really high fouling potential, especially in the summer where the, we have warm temperatures. Um, I've seen them come out so uh, accreted with barnacles that you couldn't tell whether it was uh, an ADCP or a sond. I mean, it was just covered. If we want a sample for three months, and if we can only leave it out for a week and a half, two weeks at a time, that means we have to have enough money and manpower to sample every two weeks over three months. That would be nearly 12 to 16 times. And that becomes cost prohibitive. If we can go out once and uh, just deploy it and then pick it up a, lo a long time later, we could run these sorts of analyses every year. We've actually only done a complete summer maybe two or three times uh, since 1988, you know, over the last nearly 20 years. And, and that's because we just can't really afford, you know, it's just too labor intensive otherwise. So we're real excited about the potential for long-term deployments because it allows us to get a lot more information um, than we could ever hope to get today. The Wet Labs WQM is a multi-parameter instrument developed cooperatively between Wet Labs and Seabird Electronics, two leaders in the oceanographic water quality field. Together, the two combine their most advanced technology into one instrument. Incorporating Wet Labs' fluorometer turbidity sensor and Seabird's CTD and dissolved oxygen sensors, the WQM provides accurate temperature, salinity, depth, dissolved oxygen, chlorophyll, and turbidity or backscattering data. The WQM's fresh sample flow pump continually brings fresh water across sensors to ensure that representative samples are continually measured, providing high resolution data. Designed specifically for extended deployment in environments where intense biofouling is expected, the WQM employs multiple anti fouling systems to keep the instrument logging accurate data in the field with minimal maintenance. Ultimately, this leads to a savings in time and money, as quality data is continually logged without regular field maintenance visits. Biofouling has historically limited long-term oceanic deployment of water quality sensors. At the core of the WQM's extended deployment capability is its comprehensive anti-fouling technology. After extensive testing, Wet Labs has engineered a system that effectively combats biofouling and keeps sensors logging accurate data over long periods of time. The WQM offers active and passive anti-fouling systems. The main components of the WQM's active anti-fouling are the Wet Labs Bleach Injection System and Fresh Sample Flow Pump. The Bleach Injection System inserts household-grade bleach at user-determined intervals past the DO membrane into the conductivity cell. The bleach effectively inhibits growth of biota. Field trials have proven that periodic bleach injection prolongs the WQM deployment by a month or more. The BioWiper on the optics of the chlorophyll and turbidity sensor is another active anti-fouling preventative measure. The copper BioWiper covers the optics when the WQM is in sleep mode preventing growth on the optics. When the WQM prepares to sample, the BioWiper rotates and wipes the optics beforehand. The optics are wiped again at the end of the sample. Passive anti-fouling measures include EPA-approved Seabird anti-foulant cartridges, copper faceplate, and ring guard. Together, the active and passive anti-fouling technologies 
provide a level of protection not seen in traditional monitoring instruments. These features allow the WQM to typically be deployed in extremely biologically active water for a minimum of three months. In Corpus Christi Bay, researchers head out to their monitoring station to retrieve the WQM after three and a half months of deployment. The WQM is raised to the surface, and it's revealed that while barnacles and other life are attached to the deployment cage and body of the WQM, all sensors remain clean and are still logging data. There's a lot of fouling around the frame, uh, but the sensors uh, were out of, out of any muck layer and it seemed pretty clear, but then when we got it on the boat, we can confirm that it was in, the sensors were, had very little fouling, almost nothing, and the whole thing was in pretty good shape. I've seen these suns come out uh, numerous times so foul that we couldn't, like, couldn't tell what they were. And when I saw this one and I thought immediately, wow, that's totally different from what I'm used to seeing. And we usually only put them out for two weeks at a time at the most. This thing's been in there three and a half months and it looks great. So I, I'm optimistic about it. Back at the Heart Research Institute facility, the data is downloaded and reviewed. And the results are impressive. The data confirms that not only were the sensors free of growth at retrieval, but they continued to record relevant data and the effect of fouling was nearly non-existent, proving that the WQM is a viable solution for long-term monitoring in even the harshest marine environments. For more information on the Wet Labs WQM, please visit hawkhydromet.com.